What's going on, man? Welcome back to another episode of Arsenio's ESL Podcast, or of course, TOEFL IBT. This one is exclusive, again, for my IGTV page. So for those of you who are not actually tuned in, uh, Arsenio's ESL Podcast, just as you are hearing on this podcast or wherever you see this, the IG page is available and it has exclusive content for everyone out there who is learning, obviously, IELTS, predominantly TOEFL, a little bit of TOEIC, and a lot of other things. So make sure you go on over there and you follow me. But with that being said, guys, whew, okay, I found some interesting things. What I'm going to do, I'm going to screen share you. Today, we're going to be going over the speaking question for, and this one's going to be very, very interesting. One, because we're not listening to a native English speaker's accent. And two, this is one of those episodes or one of those speaking questions where there's a lot of information. So some of you would be like, well, how do I fit all that information in there? That's exactly what I'm going to be showing you. Also, this is really good for those of you who still have difficulty with note taking. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I take notes. Obviously, completely different from using a penmanship, but nonetheless, it is still quite accurate. So with that being said, man, I'm really happy to get into this one. I shared the audio and everything. This is going to be a short one podcast, whatever you're listening to, video. So let's dive into this. Today's speaking question is about Monopoly. So let's see how this one goes. And you're going to see me take a lot of notes. Now listen to the lecture. Here we go. A monopoly is a company that is the only provider of a good or a service. This gives it a tremendous competitive advantage over the other uh, companies that want to break uh, into the market. Some companies become monopolies through vertical integration. Basically, they control the entire supply chain, all the way from getting the raw goods to production to retail to selling the product. Others use horizontal integration, which means that they buy up all of their competitors until they are the only ones left. No matter how we get to a monopoly, they are bad. The number one reason they are bad is because of price fixing. Simply put, because they are the only ones on the market, they can decide at what price to sell a given good or a service and they can charge you several times more compared to the price you would pay if there were other companies providing the same thing. A monopoly can also decide to give you an inferior product. The product will have a declining quality. For example, let's talk about a chocolate factory. Let's say this chocolate factory is the only one who can sell it to us. Now they can simply decide to put less cocoa and less milk over time and because you cannot go somewhere else to buy a chocolate, you will simply take this inferior product, this product which will become worse and worse over time. Another thing that happens when you stop having competitors is that you stop innovating. So we see a loss of innovation. A monopoly is simply not desirable. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to hurry up and hit pause and now let's look at my notes. Now, I don't care so much about, you know, the, what is it, the misspelling of a word such as, you know, competitors, uh, because again, if we focus on the misspelling of words, especially you writing it down on a piece of paper, you're going to miss about two sentences worth of valuable, potentially valuable information. So write something that you understand it. This is why you need to come up with a very, very good note-taking system, okay? If you don't come up with a good note-taking system, what's ultimately going to happen is it will happen to you rather than you controlling the situation, right? And so what we have here, Monopoly, okay? Now, do not, okay, this is your tip number one, please do not put so much effort into the beginning, the introduction, right? Because it was quick, it was short. Monopoly, only provider of good or service, has a tremendous advantage over others who want to break into the market, okay? So keep that in mind, okay? Tremendous advantage over others who want to break into the market, okay, there's this and that. This is how quick it is, that's it, eight seconds. So the lecture is about a monopoly, which is the only provider of good or service, 
and has an, uh, a tremendous or a big advantage over others who want to break into the market. He goes into two different integrations in regards to a monopoly. The first one is vertical. The second one is horizontal. Then you could go back. Okay, so the vertical is about, um, you know, a monopoly controlling the entire chain of raw goods selling production. And it was a little bit short, right? But horizontal was much longer. So keep in mind, first and foremost, tip number two, please do not spend too much time into a transition because obviously eight seconds, you guys see these couple of sentences here. It's very, very quick, okay? But then I went on to say, the lecture is about the two different types of integration, such as vertical and horizontal. Now me, I'm able to sum that up in about three and a half seconds. However, other people, such as some of the Egyptian students that I have, uh, and other students from around the world, they have difficulty in making the transition that fast and they can end up wasting an additional seven seconds on top of that three and a half seconds that I did it in. So be very careful with that. Now it's all about constructing. Now, obviously you see that vertical integration. All I have is four hyphens. Control entire chain, raw goods, selling and production. Okay, now, uh, I guess that he didn't go into detail uh, to, in regards to how that is very negative, but the horizontal integration, if I, hopefully I didn't misspell that or misheard that, but um, that's the very negative one, right? So if we look at this, okay, so these are the notes I had taken. It buys up all the competitors until no one is left, a la Facebook. This is exactly what Facebook did with, um, you know, <laughs> just about everyone out there, okay? WhatsApp. Um, Instagram, they don't want any competitors. They want to be the dominant market, and that's why uh, Facebook is completely and totally monopolized. Number one reason, price fixing. Only ones on the market can decide at what price they can sell. This is exactly what CP is doing currently out here in Thailand, obviously being a Whole Foods uh, type of brand. They're buying up all the smaller retail atlas so they can control the price. Therefore, if they boost the price, there's no one else that you could buy from. You see what I mean? So this is how I can make more sense of Monopoly. But nonetheless, that's completely besides the point. The point is, let's go into some more notes. That's the point. So they could charge double compared to other companies providing the same thing. They could end up having an inferior product declining quality. So he went into an example. So for an example, a chocolate factory, right? They can end up, you know, having less cocoa and milk over time and of course, no one else, no one can go anywhere else because there's no one else that you can buy from. You'll take this inferior product, which will become worse and worse. And the last example he had given was the fact that is, you know, they just stop innovating over time. So you see a loss of innovation. So to sum this up, okay. I could go on and give you guys that, um, you know, the obvious one minute little snippet and whatnot, but I want to hear how you guys will craft this together. And so if you are willing to submit that one minute video, I would love to post it obviously on my Arsenio ZSL podcast page. Uh, video would be even more amazing, right? We could have this in amazing community. We could have an amazing community on Instagram and whatnot, but nonetheless, if we look at this eight second intro, the vertical integration, okay, let's give it about a four second or so uh, transition from, uh, from the beginning, the introduction into the first one, which is the vertical integration. And then you'll spend probably no more than 10 to 12 seconds on vertical integration. So you could take your time with the big bulk, which is the horizontal integration. Furthermore, you can go into detail in regards to the chocolate factory and link everything together. Now, in saying that, I'm very, very interested to hear what all of you have in regards to your notes and your videos. If you want to submit your video to me and you're not afraid of it being featured on my Instagram page, let me know, man. I'm so excited about that. But um, in saying that, I hope, uh, you know, if you have any questions, type down below on my Instagram or of course reshare on my Instagram or on your Instagram stories and share with everyone else who you might believe uh, they might find this to be very, very valuable. So 
In saying that, that is the speaking question four. To sum it up, some examples might be more than others. Spend less time on those that are, you know, you don't have that much information, such as the vertical, and more time on the horizontal so you can fit all the details in there. Use clear linkers, use your language, let it flow, and I'll be waiting for your responses. So in saying that, thank you so much for tuning in to another ESL podcast. Stay tuned for more over and out.